Hey you guys, yeah, I know it's another Minecraft video, yeah. Um, but I'm just getting into Minecraft at the moment. Um, I'll be doing FIFA 15 videos soon as well. But just to say, I'm just gonna hold this because it's not a really long video. Consider if you so in and so I just to put a video out so I can, um, just try and put one out every other day at least. And if you can hear the we got a really, really strong wind coming around here at the moment. It's blowing trees over, it's blowing bins across the road. So yeah, this is my first map, map that I wanted to show you. Let's see if I can set you down. Mm, it kind of works, right? to do um yeah this one is see through you probably be able to tell right now this one is tnt run so um these are the four different teams you'll come out i was wanting to i wanted to make the um like team like it's a bit bigger because normally the ones that you see aren't very big and if you want to know what this is you can climb up here let's go to the spectator zone up here and just to say, if, if you're wondering how long this took me, it took me about three and a half hours, I'd say. So, mm, not that long, but long enough. So, yeah, I spent my day doing this. Fun. It was right, it was quite fun to do. And if you're wondering why I've got a bow in my hand, it's because I'm on Super Flat World, just it's a lot easier. I don't know why, because... I'm building this floating in the sky, but yeah, because basically TNT run, as you know, it's normally flat because it can't really jump because you normally build it too high, otherwise you can just jump over the hole all the time. But yeah, and so because it's so flat, there's just slimes everywhere, and before I and then before I managed to get all this glowstone up, there was creepers spawning everywhere. And you may have seen Porcupine is online, that is Jamie Crawford, and I might play this world with him in a minute. I'm just going to save this and I can show you how it works, for those of you that have never seen a TNT run before. Let's just fly, it's quicker. There you go. Ah, boom. Okay, so yeah, that's basically what goes on. I forgot to sprint there, so, so basically when I step on pressure plates, the TNT falls and because it's on top of the gravel, the gravel falls too, and that was not a good start. Let's go back into the base. I don't know why, but ever since... Minecraft's most recent update, you don't seem to be able to f run so fast. I don't know, is it because it's only too high? Is that why I can't go maximum speed? I have no idea. But see, I just fall straight through and I'm sprinting. I've already given stuff patience patients any questions. If you're always so slow, it gets better. So you run along like that. You basically don't want to go over yourself because all the TNT falls and the gravel falls. So it's basically what you've got to do. And then there'll be other people on the course. So you've got to try and get them to fall down. Try to fall down yourself. And I may have just cornered myself here. You know, I can just make it through. Okay. No. No sprint. Sprint while you know worky. Okay, good. And then basically you go out by ah no. Oh, that was pretty cool actually. All the glowstone showing. So yeah, and it just makes a massive big mess all over the floor. So yeah, that's the first map. I'll be back in a sec with the second. Okay, now on the second course and it's total wipeout, so basically I'm pretty proud of this. You flip this lever, that comes down, the water comes down, 
And it starts a timer up here, so you don't even need to have your own timer if your friends up on your phone or something. You can just use it off of that, and so I don't think it's like accurate for seconds. But ah, oh, I'm not hit by the sucker punch. Okay, let's carry on. But the timer's not done yet. It definitely you won't definitely be able to get to do it by the time time's done. So yeah, that will go down. That will close. That will open. Quickly, let's go. I won't call myself that good at parkour, but I know I can do it. Ah, uh, so yes, I won't call myself good at parkour. But yeah, see the add ladders and everything. So, run, ah, oh, I didn't quite make it. Okay, let's go over to at the top here. You have to run, go through this hoop into the water. And now it's like, like I'm amazed at jumping. Let's do parkour as well. Okay, I made that. And now just a little run to finish line. See, like I said, you definitely won't be able to make it by the time the counter the time is finished. If you do, well done, but yeah. Um that's basically it. So um time is made by a load and a load of redstone. This one's a pain in the butt to do. <coughs> All the time and everything. And then, Sucker Punch isn't so bad, it's quite easy actually, not very advanced, just putting everything on different timers. With this one I just had redstone, which is on all the time, so that's constantly on. Then we flip this off, that powers the pistons and turns that off. So that, that'll, <coughs> I don't actually show you that in full work. If you wait too long, it'll just piss you off. And so yeah, here as well is another parkour thing. So you want to run, jump, 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 ah, oh, you didn't quite make it. But basically it's the same again, everything's on a timer. So if you see that, everything's on a timer. So with this one, everything's on a timer again. So that there is making it constantly on if you're still on the pressure plate. So you're going to want to jump on there and then make it, there you go. And then that's what the redstone now is, so yeah. Apart from this one, this one's just simple redstone, as you can see. This one's quite fun how it like messes about, so yeah, just trying to get through. Alright, bye!